What's up, Math 8? Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Math with Mullins. Today, we're going to be looking at Lesson 3.1, Equations versus Inequalities. Our main objectives are to be able to understand what are equations, what are inequalities, and how are they different. Then we'll be able to graph and write inequalities. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is make sure we understand what an equation is and what an inequality is. An equation is a statement that shows how two expressions are equal. We normally see that with an equal sign, like x is equal to 3, or 3 plus y is equal to 17, okay? And inequality, though, shows how two expressions are related. And when we talk about how they're related, we're going to see, like, signs less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. This is going to be where you pause the video here, write them, write the two statements down, and then when you're done and ready to go on, click play. What we want to also make sure is we know what is um, what each of these are going to look like. So the way that we read this symbol is called greater than. When the greater than symbol has a line underneath it, this is technically will be called greater than or equal to. Okay, so we would say like this is x is greater than 2, or x is greater than or equal to. That's how you would read those. This next one is called less than, and a good way to remember the less than symbol, think about an L, and you're going to squish it. Okay, so we would say that this is x is less than 2. We can also say the less than symbol with the line underneath it would be less than or equal to. Okay, we are going to graph today, so just a reminder, when you graph with an open circle, that means you're going to be using the greater than symbol or the less than symbol. When you have a closed circle, that's meaning, that means when they're equal to, so greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Before we go on, let's make sure we pause the video here, write down what you see, and when you're ready to try some questions, click play. When we are graphing, we also have to know the type of circle and which direction. So this is what we're going to work on. We're going to work on graphing on a number line, and we must have a zero and the number. These got a little messed up when I was putting them on here, so I'm going to kind of spread these out just a little bit. Let's start with x is greater than negative 5. On the number line, I need to at least have negative 5. And then I typically just try to find where zero should be. So I'm going to put zero here. And since those are in increments of five, I'm going to say negative 10 would be on the left-hand side. For x to be greater than negative five, I'm going to show an open circle. And I'm going to point to the right because we're pointing to things that are greater than negative five. Let's try the next one. x is less than four. Again, start with maybe four in the center. Put a zero where it zero should go. So zero is going to be here to the left of four. And then maybe let's do eight. So we're doing increments of four. Less than just means an open circle. And we're going to point to the left because these are the things that are less than four. Right? Let's try question two. Graph each inequality. Again, we see less than and greater than signs. But now they have an equal to underneath it. So... We start off by putting 2.7 here in the middle. Zero can go to the left, and then maybe 5.4 is here on the right. Greater than or equal to means we're going to have a closed circle. So we're going to color that one in, and we're going to point to the right, because even if I wanted to maybe check this out, what can I plug in here that makes this sentence true? 5.4 is greater than or equal to 2.7, so that's why I'm pointing to 5.4. Let's try the next one. X is less than or equal to 3 fourths. So again, drawing my number line, we have negative 3 fourths. 0 would then be here to the right. And then negative 6 fourths or negative 1 and 1 half would be to the left of that. X is less than or equal to negative 3 fourths. That means I'm going to have a closed circle. And I'm going to point to the left. So negative 1 and 1 half is less than or equal to negative 3 fourths, so which is why I had to point to the negative 1 and 1 half, okay? Sometimes we will get questions that are already graphed for us, and when we get those, we just want to um, write the inequality represented. 
The nice thing here is that when we're writing this inequality, it's actually very simple. I know my focus number is seven, so I'm gonna have X is something than seven. If you think about your number line, zero would be this way, so you could think like six, five, four, and then here would be eight, nine, 10, et cetera, okay? We notice that we have an open circle, so that means either it's either gonna be greater than or less than, and if we're pointing to the left, things are getting less. So we're pointing to things that are less than seven, so my inequality should be X is less than seven. I also wanna point this out to you. Notice that in the way that I pointed, where it looks like I'm making a less than symbol, so that just means X is less than seven, okay? So let's try it with this one. I have a closed circle, so that needs to be either greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So X is something, then three over two. Because I'm pointing to the right, that means things are getting bigger. I want X to be greater than or equal to negative to three halves. You can also see that because I'm pointing in this direction, it looks like it's making the greater than symbol, okay? This always works if the variable is first. So if variable is first, the direction of the arrow matches. So that just means you have to have X and then your inequality symbol and then your number, okay? Notice the X is first here. Let's try another one. Maybe see if you can even pause the video here and try number four on your own. All right, this next one, X will be greater than 7.8. We are pointing to things greater than 7.8 on the number line, and you can also see that this arrow is matching the greater than symbol. And the second one here, this should be X is less than or equal to negative 11 fifths. Notice how we have a closed circle, so that means I also have to use the equal to sign, but because I'm pointing this way, I'm pointing to things that are less than negative 11 fifths, so I'm using that less than or equal to symbol. That will conclude our notes today for 3.1, Equations versus Inequalities. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.